Hi everyone, in this video uh, we shall see how to create a Azure app function using an Azure uh, Box Storage Trigger. So in order to do that, uh, we need to create a storage account uh, and uh, we can store some files in it. And whenever the file is uh, loaded into the storage account, so that will be a block trigger, then the function, we can run it and uh, test that. So let's create a storage account first. Go to storage account and then click on create. And uh, you can fill in the information uh, like resource group and storage account name. I'll just create a new storage uh, resource group for this. I will call it as a function resource. Okay. And a storage account uh, function test. Two five five. I just put it as my favorite number. Um, then we can. I, I, I reside in West Europe, so I choose West Europe and I keep everything as it is. Uh, click on review and create and create. It will take a couple of minutes uh, to create a storage account. As you can see here, the deployment is complete. So uh, the storage account is created. Let's go to resource uh, to see if it is okay. It looks okay. So let's go and create a function app. So create a resource and uh, I'll go, yeah, we have a function app here. I click on create. So I'll choose the existing uh, resource group which I created. It's function resource which is here. I'll choose that. And I'll, I'll give an app name called function 255. It works. And I choose runtime stack as Node.js. And I'll click on to uh, choose region as well, which would be yeah, MS Europe. Where is it? Looks okay, create. And the next step would be to create a function app. So I go to a resource and I see function app here, create. Uh, I'll create a new resource group function app resource RAS of resource. I'll give the function app name function. 255 for example uh, and choose no days doesn't really matter for blob storage trigger but best I choose it as node.js uh, then choose it as West Europe so review and create and create it will uh, take another couple of minutes uh, and then it should be complete Now we can see that the function app has been deployed, so the deployment is complete. Let's go to a resource. Over here, uh, this under functions, there's something called functions. Let's go into functions and uh, click on create. Over here, uh, there are quite some templates which is already available. The one we are interested in is Azure Blob Storage Trigger. So we're going to place something in a blob storage so there would be a trigger happens. So uh, for this uh, demo purpose, we choose uh, Azure Blob Storage Trigger. Uh, then we keep it blob uh, name as Blob Trigger 1. The path, uh, so we might have to create a kind of examples, work items underneath, under uh, that particular a storage account so we keep it uh, uh, the path as is uh, for the storage account connection let's click on new and we'll 
let's choose function test 255 which we have newly created so let's choose that uh, click on create yeah so block trigger has been created here we can uh, see there's quite some different uh, developer options one is score and test integration monitor function keys uh, the one we are interested in is score and test if we go there you can see the code written in because we choose the runtime stack as no js so it's pretty uh, simple uh, uh, code so let's click on test and run so here you can see there is sample uh, body which comes in let's pause here and we can go to the storage account uh, now so just keep this window and create and uh, open a new, new window here we go to the storage function test 255 and then click on containers and with here we click a new container called sample work items that we are interested in samples underscore iphone work containers so let's type a sample work items uh, as a matter about the public access level so let's create it so new container has been created so over here let's upload a very simple file over in this location click on file let's choose one of them from my random place it's called debuglock.lock i'll just upload it so over here we can see that under under samples sample of iphone work items there is a file debug.lock let's test it using azure blob trigger so here instead of work item dot txt now we work dot log so whenever we run it let's see what happens it's connecting it's connected and the status is 202 accepted yeah we successfully triggered an azure blob storage using my thanks if you like the video please comment so that i can always improve thanks a lot